I'm about to be in that angle. Update of why I haven't been posting as much. This is what I've been doing on my days off. Is my dad's putting a peaked roof on his trailer so he can sell it, and then the mini home park will buy it and move it onto a land, but they won't until it has a peaked roof. So all he did was leveled out the whole roof. <laughs> so, so we put all the trusses. Now we're just putting the press wood down and then we're gonna do shingles tomorrow. My car isn't so big when compared to a truck. F-150 5 liter 10 speed auto. We tried the quarter mile time but my dad puts 87 so it's not really that impressive of a time and we forgot traction control on so told him put 90, 91 TC off it'll do a lot better. Ready? Yeah. 30 60 quarter mile anyways that's what I've been up to on my days off that's why the uploads have been slacking but family first and it's the next day Almost done. Should be able to finish it off today. The shingles go better than everything else. Well, roof's all done. All we got to do is put the pieces that go sideways over the top. And then we are done. Well, hello. That's a manual. Oh, yeah. Anyways. All right, guys. So I just want to go over these. I just want to go over this tuner view app. Why I bought the V1.2 over the V2 and is it really worth it? To interview app is 650 and then once you pay for it once that's it. So the difference the price difference is between 450 to I believe it's 650. So there's a $200 price difference between the V1 and the or V1.2 and the V2. So I went with the V2 just because well to save the 200 US which is almost 3 to 400 Canadian. So um, the only difference is here just from what I can see this actually has way more layouts than the V2 I could be wrong but all these are different layouts that you can pick um, I have this one set to kind of match the OEM gauges but um, there's a lot of different ones you can even time your quarter mile and eighth mile zero to 60 which I wanted to do this and compare it to the draggy to see how accurate it really is because I think the draggy is definitely more accurate but I just want to do a comparison unfortunately I won't be getting any draggy action in soon just because um, I am starting to get a check emissions light and SHL wheel drive and last time I was getting those errors it was my um, I had a bad injector so I'm not sure if it's normal for the RPMs to fluctuate from 760 to 730 but that's what's happening right now so and it's kind of like spitting and sputtering so it might be a bad injector it might be a coil pack I don't really know but I just quickly want to go over so you can open a log data log graph view you can kind of see like really I didn't go anywhere so it's just kind of but you can data log your stuff. So the only thing that I start on board logging check codes. Oh, you can check codes. So that's my actual codes that I am getting. P0175, P0420. Nice. And that was literally the only thing that I thought this thing couldn't do. And see here, you can flash factory, flash J pipe only. So I'm gonna go back to flash factory. Are you sure you want to flash this tune? The engine cannot be running. Oh, is I want to see if I can tune it without the laptop.
J pipe only. Oh. Yep. So, you don't even need the laptop to use the V1.2. All you need is the laptop for the first initial tune. And then as long as you have the TunerView app, you can tune it and flash it back to, um, well, whatever tune you have. I think it stores up to five tunes also. So really, I can't see why you would get the V2 when the V1.2 does literally everything the V2 does. I could be wrong. I could be missing something that it doesn't do. If so, then uh, comment down below. But as you can see, it's flashing with the Tuner View app. You just definitely have to make sure your battery is charged on your phone. And um, yeah, you have a good battery in your car, of course. And uh, also the tuner is plugged into the obd2 so i'm not sure if the v2 has to be plugged in down there or how it works but from what i can see is after you install it once with the laptop and get all the programming installed then you can just do everything with the tuner view app you can check the codes you can flash from stock back to, to um, whatever tune you want you can data log you can send your data logs to a tuner and then they can send you back a tune and then it looks like they can send you a map and you can upload it just right from the Kate or from the tuner view app so tuner view app 650 um, and then the v1.2 is 450 us uh, so for me it came to 600 and then $50 shipping so it's 650 plus tax. So it came to I think it was 73450 taxes included and that is from at JDM Tech on Instagram or Correct Automotive on Facebook. So if you're in Canada, that is the cheapest place that I could find to get the K-Tuner and the cheapest K-Tuner dealership that I could find in Canada. So US might be a little different. You might be able to get it a little cheaper, obviously, because the exchange rate and the shipping might be free if you're in the US. So as you can see here, it says flash successful, 100%. So I'm not really sure if now I just turn the car off. You probably do. Shut the car off. Power it down, count a few seconds. One, two three four and uh, power it back up and then wait a few seconds one two three four and start her up <laughs> and then all your lights should come off yep perfect so um, I should flash it back but I'm sick of the because I was getting those error codes, but I'm gonna flash it back to stock because I do want to bring it to the dealer. But for now on the drive home, I'm flashing it to the tune because I might get a race, who knows, and I don't want to lose. All right, well, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.